Hey guys, it's Armwrecker, and I'm checking out another world today, specifically the 20th Anniversary Edition that just came out on Steam. Now, this is a game that originally came out back in 1991. It was by a guy named Eric Chahi. And, <laughs> believe it or not, I recall playing it back in the day, and I really enjoyed it. There was also a game called Flashback that was very similar. Uh, but this game has always had a, a very, very strong following since it came out. And uh, it also had a number of updates over the years, including a 15th anniversary edition and also a 20th an anniversary edition, as you're seeing here. Uh, but originally, this 20th anniversary edition was geared for the iOS platform, and then later, a company named .emu, the developers of the 20th uh, anniversary edition for the iOS, ended up bringing it to Android, and now finally, they've brought it to PC. So, the difference here is that now, unlike the 15th Anniversary Edition, you can support widescreen resolutions that are uh, much more modern, versus the 15th Anniversary uh, was more of a 4 to uh, 3 ratio of the old CRT monitors and everything. So, uh, really, this is pretty much the ultimate edition now for uh, PC. And uh, let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay, but it's really just a side-scroller adventure type game and we're gonna start from the beginning I did play a tiny bit uh, just to refresh my or refresh myself with the controls rather uh, but let's get into the intro and you can see why this game was so appealing uh, back in the day the art style was just amazing and now that it's been updated it's even better uh, but yeah I mean it, the story itself it has you playing as this guy who uh, from what I recall was kind of like in uh, modern day, you know, type Earth, and he was doing some sort of science experiment and ends up getting transported to another world. Hence the name, Another World. And I think they actually called it something else in other countries, like Outer World or something, I forget what, what it was, but... The art style, though, I, I'm telling you, at the time it was mind-blowing to see, you know, this level of detail and... You know, essentially like polygon shapes. And the animation too, I mean it was... ...pretty much ahead of its time. So, you can see that you're a professor, you've gotten your DNA identification. <laughs> see you've driven here in your Ferrari. It picks up your car key. And you're at some sort of crazy... Machine. Peanut computer. See, this is how old school this game is. It's it's <laughs> showing a computer in a future running a DOS operating system. Obviously a fake DOS operating system, but still. And you're about to run an experiment and then, yep, shit gets crazy. Oh, and they even feature a particle accelerator. That's always nice. Now this is stuff though that I don't recall all that much. It's definitely a game that I'm gonna have to play through again just to remember the whole story. I remember enjoying it at the time. Alright, here we go, another experiment. Uh-oh. Bring in that thunder. There's your poor Ferrari sitting out. The storm brewing. And what? I don't think. Am I supposed to do something? No, I'm not. Wow. Lightning jumps into the particle accelerator. And. That's it. You've been taken away. And this is where the game starts. This is actually the playable part. So you're sitting there sinking. You've got to start swimming. The game doesn't really coach you on anything. You just have to figure things out. And if you notice there, there are vines coming up. Also, look in the background. There's a creature. So initially, you can run this way. Oh, was that... Something was coming out of the water. I guess it was that creature. Uh, but there's a vine here. Now, most new players will probably try to go for it and be like, Oh, I'll just swing across. That's not what you want to do. 
Uh, oh yeah. Well, here, let me show you a death sequence. So, I keep seeing this thing come up here. Let's see what happens if I let it grab me. Um... Come on, where are you? I'll just try sitting still, maybe? There he is. Oh. Well, I guess he won't grab me. Alright, but there are these things here. Now watch what happens if I walk over this. Or any of them. Smacks your leg, you go limp. Game over. Now, one nice thing is that the game does have a lot of uh, save points in it. And here, actually, I'll I'll just kind of hang out in the water and let these things grab. See, there's another way you can die. I mean, pretty much the game will constantly uh, be doing everything it can to kill you, and it's up for you to figure out how you can survive each sequence. So there's that creature again. Now this time we know that this little worm thing will uh, kill me if it can hit me. I run all the way over. Oh, nope, there's that creature. And my dog is... Duh. Sorry about that. I got killed! My dog is trying to get up on the chair while I'm recording a video. Okay. So as you can see, we got a save point there already. Now I need to run away from this creature. Jump over the worms. He's catching up. And what do you think I do? Jump for the vine. But it's not that simple. Because now I need to run back the other way. Deal with the worms again. I made it. And wouldn't you know, somebody's there to save me, but is he friend or foe? Give him a hello sign, make a little smirk. Nope. He's definitely not friendly. So you're sitting there waking up in some sort of chamber. See, I remember at the time seeing this eye effect with the pupils fluctuating and seeing yourself having to focus. I mean, seriously, this was so advanced at the time. So here we are in a jail thing, and you can see it's a little bit swingy. What do you think you've got to do? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. You gotta just kind of rock it left and right. And eventually he's gonna get kind of pissed off. Sorry about that, I had to help my dog. He doesn't normally interrupt me. And, um... Just swing back and forth. And we're out. So you can start running, or you can grab his gun, which of course is... Oh, crap. I screwed up. Which of course what you want to do... And you can use your gun in a number of different ways. So, the f Oh shit. God damn it. Alright, we're gonna have to go through this again. So, let me just tell you about the, the different shots. You've got your standard laser. You've got a shield that you can put down by holding it until there's a small orb coming out of the gun. And then you've got like a mega blast shot. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got a steam achievement when I did that Mega Blast. Which is pretty cool. So he's telling us we gotta get the hell out of here. We're gonna keep on moving this time. Now this is where I need to use my shield. Alright. I'm just going to keep laying down a shield while this guy hacks this door. Come on, get us out of here. Oh, shit! Well, I guess we had a save point there. So, this is an elevator and we can actually go up, down, or whatever. And this is where you get kind of a, a look at the actual city, or whatever the hell this is. Really twisted alien race here. 
And you've got your buddy following you around. So as mentioned, I mean, it, you know, in a lot of ways it's kind of trial and error. You will die a lot. Like coming into this room, you know, it's you got to really figure out what you're supposed to do. Now I can blow this out right now. Oh, damn it. I got killed, but I think I'm supposed to do something else. Let's go all the way to the bottom. Yep, there's an alien. Oh, but I just destroyed something on the wall, so let's go back up. And let's see what that did. Okay, so it looks like the... creature is now kind of stuck there. And I'm out, and he's blasting through. Nice! Come on up, buddy. Shit. Oh. He just... He just let us through here. That's pretty nice. So we're in some sort of uh, ventilation system here. Oh. Okay, well that's one way to die. What? Can I not go? Oh. I guess I have to take my time. Yep. Alright, so we just gotta take it slow. Oh, there's more! Oh. So of course they're gonna start me at the top. And I'll probably wrap this thing up soon because, in all honesty, it's not um, a game that you're gonna get eight, you know, plus hours out of. You could probably play this in one sitting. Damn it! I screwed up again. Oh. God damn it! Alright, I'm stopping here. Gonna wait for the steam to go away. I'll keep moving. But yeah, I'd like to preserve it a little bit for you guys. Because it is a classic game. What? Alright, let's try that again. Unless there's something I'm not getting here. Okay, I'm through. Just had to master that timing. And Are you serious? But at least it gives you unlimited lives. Alright. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to go right. Yep. Okay, where now? Please be left. I I see a drop here. Oh. Okay, it lets me through and what the hell was that? Can I blow this open? Yep. Oof. Okay, I don't know what all this is about. Can I blow through this? Yep, three layers. Alright. And there's some sort of bubble here. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, man, spike right through the body. Alright. I think I'm gonna leave things there, guys. You can see... Kind of what's what kind of game this is, and it's I mean it's still fun. It's definitely maintained uh, the level of quality that made it so popular back in the day, surprisingly. And um, you know I could see why they did take the time to port it over to 
iOS and Android and even keep updating this. Now, I will say that the 20, 20th anniversary has, you know, not just those resolutions, but the upgraded textures that uh, came with the previous updates. Also, new sounds. There are uh, a, a number of new sounds, although I believe that the music um, has been taken out quite a bit. But yeah, as mentioned, I mean, this is really the superior version. If you like side-scrollers at all, definitely give this one some consideration. You can get it now on Steam. Alternatively, you can always get it on uh, handhelds as well, if you don't mind, you know, having a smaller screen and everything. But, um, you know, let's face it, I mean, PC is obviously the best version with the high resolutions and everything. Um, but yeah, again, guys, this has been another world by Eric Chahi. Originally, uh, this PC port is by .emu. It's out now on Steam. And I'll leave a link in the description to the Steam store page. As always, please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel. I always appreciate when you guys do that. And stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.